This is Jim Sackman, and I am your Focal Point Business Coach for the North Bay of California. And I'd like to welcome you back to my ongoing series of video blogs around branding. <clears throat> so this week, we're going to continue our talk that we've been going on. And again, focusing on product as it relates to branding. And I want to remind everybody that I really work on this 360 method of branding, which is uh, branding is an entire company activity, not just uh, a activity of marketing. And so this is all about taking the seven P's of marketing, the first of which is product, and tying it into how product directly affects brand. And in this case, we're going to talk about Porsche. And Porsche is a very well-known uh, car brand. They're known for racing performance and supercars, you know, very high end. Uh, when I was younger, it was very uh, exclusive, uh, high end cars. Uh, and that's where this story comes from, because I want to talk about the Model 914. Um, this is a car that was an entry level model for Porsche. It was introduced in 1969. It was done to replace an existing uh, model called the 912. And the original design was done jointly with Volkswagen. Now, that the reasons for the joint design and a lot of the purpose behind it are completely valid. There is uh, was tooling charges and other sharing that was planned to be done with Volkswagen that was uh, shared money that was intended. It didn't work out that way, and the model was a failure because of that. But that's not why we're going to talk about this. The reason we're going to talk about it is the deal with Volkswagen. And really the question is, was it a good idea? And the reason I say that is clearly Porsche needs an entry level car. You can't just have every car that you make unless you're somebody like Ferrari be over $100,000. They were trying to build a bit broader audience and they wanted to have a car to introduce it. The original the car this replaced was called the 912. But the thing is, is how did Porsche owners view VW? Um, when I was younger and when this was going on, I remember hearing that Porsche that, you know, was dealing deal with VW. And in fact, the way people who owned it said it's really a Volkswagen. Well, in those days, Volkswagen was a car maker who dealt with very low end cars, the Beetle and the old Volkswagen bus which, or hippie buses, people in my day, uh, my age think about those. And the connotation was that Porsche was diluting their brand by dealing with a very low end manufacturer um, at the time. You know, there's nothing wrong with Volkswagen. They're a fine company, but compared to Porsche, they're not known for high performance, and high brand. So the question is, and I think it's an open thing is, was it a good idea? It ended up executing poorly, so it ended up being a bad idea, but was the original concept, which failed because of nothing having to do with brand, was it a good idea? And I, and I think that's an open question and something that you should all think about in your business, which is it's not just you and what you do, but it's people that you visibly partner with, visibly understand, are part of your business. Are those people good for your image? Are the people you're connected to good for you. So be aware of that when you bring out products and brands. And thank you for your time. Again, this is Jim Sackman, Focal Point. Uh, change your business, change your life. And you guys have a great day.